In this step, we're going to go over how to create a self-signed certificate in PowerShell. To do that is pretty easy. A long time ago, we used to use the old school makecert.exe utility, but we're not even going to go over that here because as of PowerShell version 4, we have a new self-signed certificate command list. So let's show you how to use that. First off, we just have that single command, new self-signed certificate, and that command contains a lot of different parameters that you can provide. Um, in our example here, we're just going to create a simple self-signed certificate by specifying the cert store location. Notice here that I am putting it into the local machine slash my or the personal certificate store. And I'm setting it the DNS name to testcert.techsnips.io. That could be in anything that you want. So running this is very simple. All you do is just run it and the cert is created. It's a lot easier than what it used to be. And then you can see that it is created with a thumbprint and we have the subject there. So the certificate is in our certificate store at that point. What if you want to share that certificate with someone else? We need to export it out to a file. So let's also show you how to do that. To do that, since we want to also export out the public and the private key to this, we first need to set a password. So what I'm going to do here is create a password of just password with the bang and this is going to be a secure string. And what you'll see is I'll pass this to my export command in just a second. Next, I need to set the certificate path. This is where the certificate is located. And when I see that, it is located at, in the cert PowerShell drive, local machine, the personal starter, which is my, and then we have that thumbprint. So that's the indicator of the certificate. Next, we can run the export PFX certificate, which exports out the private key by providing the cert path as the cert parameter value, the file path, which is this is the place we're going to export it out to, which is going to be self-cert.pfx, and then pass the password value, which is that secure string that we just created. Running that, pretty simple. Outputs to self-cert.pfx, so we have now have a self-cert.pfx file on the root of C. So at this point, we can do whatever we want with it. However, we can also then import it back. Maybe that you want to bring this from one machine to the other, and this is a good way that you can do that. To do that, we can import it back if we want by using the import PFX certificate command. And this command is similar to the other one to where it just provides a password, a file path, and a search store location. It's very, very similar parameters to export PFS certificate. Then we can then check out and see what this looks like by then going to current user, since we imported this into the current user store instead of the local machine store. So I will can just look this up by using get item, cert, current user, my, and then the certificate name. So now that you notice that it returns the certificate the with the thumbprint as we created. So that's all there is to creating, exporting, and then re-importing back a self-signed certificate with PowerShell version four and higher.